gentlemen, good morning. It's a pleasure to be here, and I would like to take this opportunity and thank the organizer, Streamline Marketing Group, for inviting me to deliver this opening remarks. I would like also to thank them for their support to UAE space sector since 2008. <laughs> ينطلق مؤتمركم هذا بعد أيام قليلة من انعقاد القمة الحكومية في مدينة دبي. As some of you are aware, Yasat was essentially conceived as a SATCOM company born out of the need to support the armed forces. Keep the customer happy by making them see value. Uh, the commercial companies can do that as well with militaries and helping them maximize the use of the bandwidth they've bought and to feel that they've gotten good value for the money and to have the proof to show those that are making budget decisions that they're getting good value for them. When I look at diminishing budgets, nations will no longer be able to afford large forces forward based anymore. And when I look at things like we should count on adversaries will attack us in space and cyberspace in order to keep us out of operations, to keep us out of areas of operation, these all point to one thing. We will have to form smaller, more globally agile, more uh, flexible forces they could quickly form, respond to a crisis, dissolve, and reset for the next operation. We have uh, developments in the space arena in general. Uh, we have the announcement of uh, the UAE Space Agency uh, that was uh, made last year. And uh, at the same time, there was the announcement of the Mars mission, which is going to be uh, uh, taken by the UAE. And then uh, there are also there is also the announcement for uh, of the Khalifa Sat project, which is going to be uh, a satellite that is built, designed, and built by by UAE uh, nationals. Uh, 